So you may have seen or heard of this demonstration before, but essentially it's using a balloon and a ping pong ball to uh, mimic labor process. So in order to set up, you have to get the ping pong ball into the balloon. You just open it up, pop the ping pong ball in, and then you have to blow the balloon up a little bit. So basically what happens here is we have a balloon that represents the uterus, and then we have a ping pong ball inside that represents the baby's head. The neck of the balloon is kind of like your cervix. So before you go into labor, most women, their cervix is has some length to it, so it's long. And then here it kind of looks like it's open. Most women, it would actually be closed. So it's kind of like tight like a drum, so long and closed. Um, and basically you have to go from that to uh, completely shortened, completely thinned, and completely dilated up to 10 centimeters in order for your baby to come out. So lots of women towards the end of their pregnancy will experience Braxton Hicks contractions and they're kind of those practice contractions. So they're just, uh, they tend to feel like tightenings or cramping, um, that kind of thing, but they don't do anything to the cervix. So you can see that nothing is happening to the neck of my balloon. They can slight, be slightly uncomfortable, but they don't tend to be painful. Sometimes they just feel like tightenings, but that's basically your uterus, um, that big muscle practicing before the time comes to have a baby. When you actually go into labor, your contractions happen at the top of, of your uterus. So those big squeezy contractions that are painful and it pushes down that baby's head onto uh, the top of the cervix. And what they do, those contractions at the top of your uterus, is they pull the muscle, um, so the, the bottom of your uterus and your cervix, they kind of pull those fibers up and out. Um, so you can see already that the cervix is a little bit shorter. So as you have these big contractions, that cervix is gonna shorten, it's gonna thin out, and it's gonna start to dilate. So those contractions are gonna keep happening and that head is going to push down on the bottom of, of my uterus, push down on my cervix, and the cervix is going to continue to shorten and dilate. And you can see now, so I've got a head sitting kind of right, right at the end of my cervix. Those contractions are gonna kind of keep happening. And for everybody, that's a little bit longer, depending on if it's your first baby or your second baby. Um, those contractions are uncomfortable, and this process can take various amounts of time. So you can see, again, my cervix is shortened. And I'm gonna keep contracting, and your baby's gonna be born. So that's essentially a little demo on the mechanics of labor. You can certainly try it at home and uh, see what you think. Um, but we are here to help you through the whole process and you're gonna do great.